Rookie quarterback Justin Fields gets his first win as the starting quarterback of the Chicago Bears as the Bears beat the Lions by a score of 24-14 to at Soldier Field to move on to 2-2 two two on the season. What's going on guys? I'm back with the Chicago Bears post-game reaction videos which I'll be doing every single week this year. So if you guys want more reaction videos from me, be sure to subscribe to this channel. But in today's video guys, I'll be breaking down the game the Bears played today against the Lions and man... What a different performance that was from the week prior, okay? Obviously, we had a change in play caller, okay? So, Bill Lazor was confirmed to be calling the plays for today's game. And, man, you could definitely tell that something was different, okay? Because this offense moved down the field so easily practically every single drive, okay? There was a number of just explosive big plays going down the field, which I'll talk about a little bit later. I'm talking about Justin Fields and his great day, obviously, but... Just the weird offense was flowing, right? Like, there there just seemed to be so much good rhythm to it, okay? There's a cadence of plays where it seemed like every successful play call made sense. Okay, we were building and stacking together good plays um, at every single drive, right? And that's how we scored 24 points. And it honestly should have been a lot more, man. I mean, we only scored 24. It easily could have been 31, 35, just with how we were moving the ball down the field. I just feel like we took our foot off the gas a little bit too early okay we started running the football a lot more in the second half which I guess does make sense because you're up by 21 you want to protect that lead and just run the football right so I think we could have scored a lot more to be honest um if a few plays it, it did go differently and also if the play calling was more aggressive going down the stretch but there was no need for that because our defense kept the Lions to zero points for a good portion of this game obviously you have to keep in mind this was against the Detroit Lions a pathetic franchise a pathetic team this year too so don't overreact too much to just one game but you are allowed to be excited after a big win like this against a division rival in which your quarterback of the future Justin Fields looked pretty damn impressive okay and I'll start by talking about Justin Fields then um and how he performed and man this is why Bears fans are so excited about drafting this guy this is why Bears fans were going crazy on draft night because he showed us what he's capable of doing in this game in pushing the ball down the field. The way the NFL is trending, guys, you can't win Super Bowls with game managers anymore. You need a quarterback that's capable of, you know, producing these big explosive plays, having a phenomenal deep ball, capable of scoring in a, in a hurry. And that's exactly what Justin Fields is. In this game, we saw his phenomenal deep ball accuracy, his ability to see the receivers going down the field, to even, you know, fit balls into very tight coverage like he did to A-Rob on that crosser route I think it was like 20 25 yards and it was in between two two DBs like that's that's a throw that I don't think many Bears quarterbacks have ever done in their entire lives okay the last time I saw a Bears QB this capable of pushing the ball down the field that might have been the prime Jay Cutler days but Cutler man he was so careless with the ball okay those big plays also came with big turnovers in crucial moments of games which is why we lost a lot of games with Jay Cutler too so I think that Justin Fields overall is a much more smarter quarterback than Jay Cutler and makes better decisions, but he also has that insane deep accuracy and a pretty nice arm too. And he's probably the most athletically gifted quarterback we've ever had in our entire history because this guy's super fast as well. You guys saw that sack he evaded? I think it was on third down or whatever down it was, man. There was a rusher coming at him directly, okay? And there was really nowhere Justin Fields could go there, but he just completely turned around and evaded that sack and threw a dime of a ball, which... Could have been caught if Cole Komet stayed on his feet, but I think he either slipped or whatever happened, but Cole Komet dropped, and that could have been a big play because he also got the ball to Cole Komet with space in front of him, I believe. But unfortunately, the play was not made, but that really shows you the type of plays that this quarterback is capable of making, okay? He's capable of evading a sack and throwing a dime down the field, and we're going to see a lot more of that, especially if he actually gets time to throw the football, okay? Today, he actually had time to throw the football. Our offensive line performed very well for the most part right like, there was maybe a few mistakes but aside from that going up against this pretty bad Lions pass rush they were pretty nice in pass protection okay Justin Fields had all day to throw the football and when he does you can see those long developing routes they actually turn into big explosive plays okay because Fields always looks for those big explosive plays first before he looks for the check down which is just a game changer for your offense in the year of 2021 okay because game managers like I mentioned they're not going to win you Super Bowls, most likely. You need a Patrick Mahomes, you need an Aaron Rodgers, you need a Russell Wilson to actually win anything in this league. And maybe Fields could be that in the future because he has the talent 
to be so okay so obviously that play where he evaded the sack was pretty cool he also had another pretty good ball to Cole Komet which should have been his first passing touchdown I'm in the NFL he still doesn't have a single passing touchdown because he keeps on getting unlucky with these okay even though he's throwing pretty good balls Allen Robinson dropped his first one uh, this one I think Cole Komet I think that could have been a penalty on the defense so I'm not totally sure what happened there but Cole Komet didn't stay on his feet and he was not by the ball even though the ball was a pretty good ball so that could have been a touchdown but talking about the plays that actually work now man so he had a 64 yarder to Darnell Mooney in the first half which I just completely exploded when I saw because I have not seen it play that big here in Chicago in a long long time okay a beauty of a ball going down the field and right in Mooney's hands so Mooney could actually do some damage after the catch as well which again guys it's a game changer when you have a quarterback that can hit your receivers in stride because Football is a game of inches, man. You need every single inch. And if your quarterback is throwing balls where the receiver has to come back for them or leap for them, like you're not going to gain those extra inches. But Fields, man, he's hitting our guys in stride. He also had a, forgot how many yards it was, but that ball going down the right sideline to Mooney where that was just a phenomenal throw, okay? You can't place that ball any better if you are Justin Fields, okay? So we went up 21-0 after uh, Damian Williams' run after that big play, but... That was obviously a very good throw by Fields. He also had the throw to Al Robinson, which I already talked about, the crosser in between two defenders, which if you don't place that ball correctly, guys, like that is going to be a pick, okay? Or it's going to be a incompletion, but it could have been a pick, okay? Because there's two guys right there, but, you know, <laughs> Justin Fields, the way he threw that ball to A-Rob, he threw the ball in a position where only Al Robinson could catch it, okay? And that's what makes him so special, okay? Because not a lot of quarterbacks can do stuff like that. So if you look at Justin Fields' passing chart in totality, I'll put down the screen right now, man. This is beautiful, okay? Like, seriously, I mean, three passes completed above 25 yards. Um, Good uh, distribution of the ball all across the field. The one interception he had also was not even his fault because it got tipped at the line. So that's not even anything to worry about, really. And just look at this, man. I mean, this is how you create an explosive, fun offense here in Chicago and I think we finally have the quarterback that's capable of making the passes necessary to have that offense here and I'm just happy for Fields man like what a bounce back performance what an impressive performance and this was only his second ever start in the NFL guys like he's gonna get a lot better than this and that is the exciting part okay we've not even scratched the surface of his potential so far so great overall day by Justin Fields obviously there were a few mistakes a few throws that he would want back um, obviously that fumble too which was not good so I have to have better ball security but he also recovered that fumble which he's been recovering like every single fumble he's had this year so you know a few mistakes but overall a phenomenal day by Justin Fields talking about the rest of the Bears offense man they were also pretty impressive okay I talked about the O-line being good the running backs man I mean they were also very very impressive in this game okay we had 188 total rushing yards in this game we were running the football with ease and it didn't matter what running back was on there okay Damian Williams or Monty both of them were performing pretty well and first of all I do have to say man prayers up to Monty okay I really hope Montgomery is okay he went down with a pretty painful injury um, near the end of that game so Really hope he's back out here and fine because he's an integral part of our offense. I mean, this guy just refuses to go down, has the heart of a champion. I'm so happy we have Montgomery on our team. I mean, this guy is amazing. So hopefully he is fine. But our running game, man, I mean, I, I can't say anything bad about it, okay? We're also averaging 4.8 yards per carry. We pretty much won this game with our run game in the second half because we kept on keeping the chains moving, drawing out the clock too. So... Man, really good day by running backs. And then obviously the receivers too, they were also very impressive. Okay, Darnell Mooney, his first ever 100 plus yard receiving game, which is a travesty that's it's taking so long for this to happen because he's been getting open so much in, in games prior, but it's just that we didn't have the quarterback capable of hitting him down the field, but now we finally do. Okay, so Darnell Mooney had 125 receiving yards only on five receptions. So practically every single play he made it was a big play because that's the type of player he is okay he has that speed he has that explosive playmaking ability and he also has the hands too okay that first pass he caught from fields that was actually a bad ball from fields he had to extend to make that catch but he still made it because he is darnell freaking mooney so good day by mooney good day by a rob too he had a pretty impressive uh, contested catch to ice the game pretty much near the end and also had that big play too uh, in the second half so Man, receivers looked good. Tight ends, not so much. Okay, Cole Komet really didn't do much of anything. Jimmy Graham, we don't ever use him at all. I don't know why we kept him on the team if we're not going to use him for anything. So Jimmy Graham, keeping him was probably not the best move by Ryan Pace because he's not doing anything out there for us. And he has more, you know, vet rest days 
during practice than he does actual catches on the season. He only has like one catch on the year. So not a good day really by the tight ends, but I can't complain too much about this Bears offense because it looked pretty explosive the entire afternoon. Talking about the Bears defense then, there were a few lapses for sure, okay, that uh, I think that it was where Deion Bush kind of slipped up there in coverage uh, near the end on the second touchdown the Lions scored where it just seemed like they had a wide open touchdown, okay, so that was obviously not a good play by our defense by Deion Bush. Jalen Johnson also got burnt once going down the field by, forgot which receiver it was, but <laughs> Jared Goff is a bad quarterback, so he completely overthrew him, but that could have been a backbreaker, okay, that could have you know, really put the pressure on the Bears, but we're lucky that Jared Goff is a pretty bad quarterback. And obviously, we did allow the Lions to get down the field to our own end zone, but we made some insane stops when it mattered the most. Okay, we got turnovers in the end zone. We got a Bilal Nichols interception. Um, we also got a, you know, a, a couple turnover on downs. Okay, multiple turnover on downs on, on four down where the Lions just went for it and Jared Goff could not make the throw or we made a good play in coverage or whatever happened. I mean, we, we only allowed 14 points on the day. So even though we allowed... 348 total yards which is not good you know we made the stops when it mattered the most and also our pass rush man it is just so back okay this is we haven't seen a pass rush like this in chicago probably since 2018 because we're actually top of the league right now close to top of the league in sacks we had four more sacks today by four different players okay khalil mack travis gibson roquan smith and robert quinn all had sacks which i have to say man apologies to Robert Quinn, okay? All of Chicago hated on you the entire last year, obviously because your production was not close to how much we are paying you, but you are earning every single cent of the money we're paying you this season, okay? Because he already has five sacks on the year. It's been a monster rushing the passer. Also played pretty good run defense too today, okay? He was, you know, very key on stopping some of the running backs today on crucial downs. So this resurgence from Robert Quinn is huge for the Bears defense because it just changes the game, okay? When you have two actual good pass rushes, okay? It makes it much more easier to play defense on the back end when you know your pass rushes can get to the quarterback pretty consistently, okay? So Khalil Mack, obviously great day. Robert Quinn, another great day. Travis Gibson, the backup, the uh, second-year player, he also had a sack and also a forced fumble too, which should have been recovered by us, but Jared Goff picked it up and ran a couple yards after that. But just, like, amazing day by the pass rush, obviously. Our run defense was pretty good. For the most part, okay, we only allowed 90 receiving yards total, which is not, you know, too insanely bad. And, you know, obviously pass defense did have a couple lapses here and there, but for the most part, they were pretty solid as well, okay? Duke Shelley making some timely tackles. I mean, this guy was not bad at all in this game, okay? Now, we do have to keep in mind, though, the Lions receiving talent is very, very limited, so it's not insanely impressive to shut down this Lions receiving attack, but still, okay, pretty good day overall by the defense. Got the stops when it mattered the most. The pass rush was there all day long and man Sean Desai he's completely changing this Bears defense because it looks a lot better than it was last year besides that probably the only other thing I want to say in this video is that we probably need a new punt returner because Nasimba Webster man I don't know what he's doing out there for us okay he obviously had a fumble the last game against the uh Browns and today man he just was not fielding any of the punts okay and that's your job as a punt returner to help us get better field position after fielding punts and doing something with it so a little bit of a disappointing day from our punt returner but that's i mean if that's the only complaint i'm having that's obviously not that bad okay so overall man good win by the chicago bears i mean i'm so happy that justin fields had the day he had today which even though it looks on the stat sheet like he didn't do that much he only had 200 passing yards uh zero passing touchdowns in interception too if you look beyond the numbers he was really good in this game which is really all i care about okay this year is about developing justin fields for the future so we can eventually win super bowl titles with justin fields and if we continue to call game plans like we did today for him that is going to happen so overall man enjoy this win guys let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section what did you think about this win our schedule going forward now is very very tough okay so we have the raiders coming up we also have games against the packers you know the buccaneers the 49ers so it's gonna get a lot harder you know starting now and if we have a fun exciting offense with good quarterback play too like we could honestly be in any game guys because our defense also hasn't been the worst so far i mean our pass rush looking pretty strong you know, getting a lot of sacks, getting some turnovers too. So who knows, man, it could be a pretty fun, exciting year. Even if we're not going to make the playoffs or do much in the playoffs, like I just want to see Justin Fields develop and continue to have games like he did today because I really believe, guys, the Bears finally have their quarterback of the future. Let me hear your thoughts and opinions down below, guys. But as always, bear down.